EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From the Pacific Northwest and Bandon Dunes Golf Resort, live second round coverage of the Oregon Championship. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. We've currently got a tie at the top at five under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, definitely in contention, just one shot back at the start of play. Oh, this is a big chance, but it's looking good. Well, they claim it's a reachable par four. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. Well done. Not much to this one. It's for birdie. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And she'll move now to five under par. On now to the second here at Bandon Dunes. A long par three coming in at 220 yards. And it is every bit of those 220 as well as it can play up to 30 feet uphill, depending on the tee box. Fortunately, shots that run long do have a tendency to funnel back down. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Chip shots, you've got to be so precise. You see all the contours of the green. You know, just needed a few more feet out of that one. Okay, it's a bogey here at the second. And she's going to fall out of the top spot and wind up one shot back. We head to the third now, our first par five at 563 yards. Bunkers appear to be scattered on either side of the fairway, so accuracy is a must. This green is definitely reachable in two, but it does run nearly 50 yards from front to back. So if your approach isn't on target, 
you could be left with a putt of better than 100 feet. Good shot, coming off bogey at the second. That's gonna be in the fairway. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Six feet now for Birdie. Okay, nicely done. That's in for Birdie here at three. And with it, she'll get a stroke back. Up next, we come to the par four fourth hole, which measures out at 443 yards. Beware that the rough is thick if you miss your butt. A well-placed drive rewards you with our first real look at the Pacific, as you'll see that big expanse of blue and start to hear the crashing waves below. Look good for a while, but it's going to get gobbled up by that bunker. Now, coming out of the bunker, just couldn't get enough club head on the ball and comes up well short. Golf is so much about nearlies. Just a little bit more effort on that one. It would have been close. Instead, just that awkward distance.
Yeah, that's not an easy lag putt. That's going to come up a bit short. There's five feet left. And that's what these greens can do to you. They make you see things that just aren't there. That one slides by. That goes down, but it's a six at the par four. And she'll drop back down to three under. On now to the number one handicap hole on the course. That is the 445 yard par four fifth. This one plays right along the bluffs of the Pacific. Keeping it straight here is the big key because trouble lurks on either side if your tee shot or your approach are wayward. Quite able to hang on, it's into the bunker. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. Now that was a tough shot coming out of the fairway bunker. So really, all in all, that's an excellent approach. Mm, hang on. That's going to leave about three feet. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And she's going to stay at minus three. The second part three of this front side, another long one, this sixth hole measuring out at 217 yards. That voice in your head will be telling you, don't go left, because if you do, you'll be down the cliff and onto the beach here by five mile point. Yeah, that's nicely done. Birdie putt coming up here at the sixth. 11 feet away. It is in for birdie. And she'll move four under par. We make our turn away from the ocean now and head to the par four seven. At 411 yards, it offers a nice wide fairway to sort of bomb away into. That will likely leave an uphill approach for the second, the green that is one of the more difficult on the course.
Mm, that was close to being good, but it'll hop off the fairway and into the heavy stuff. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And she'll stay three shots off the lead. The eighth hole here at Bandon takes us back toward the ocean. It's a par four at 385 yards, so it's not a long one. If you can successfully navigate or vomit over those two fairway bunkers, you could leave yourself with not much more than 50 yards or so for your approach. She's starting this one toward the right. And that will do just fine. That's the benefit of really bombing a tee shot down that sits up a simple little chip and a birdie. Okay, nicely done. It's a birdie at number eight. And she'll get a stroke back. On now to the finishing hole here on Bandon Dunes front side, the par five nine. It's the longest on the course, measuring out at 585 yards. You'll find a handful of pot bunkers in the inopportune spots along the way. But if you can navigate your way around them, you just might wind up with a birdie putt. That's a fine tee shot, but it is a long, long way to this par five.
but that one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. That's a miss hit, misjudgment, and maybe another miss putt coming up. This will slide a bit right. It's for birdie. Oh, right by the hole. The longer putts, you don't mind as much. The short ones, they tend to sting. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And with that, she'll go out in 35, one under par. We begin the back nine here at Bandon Dunes with a par four measuring out at the 380 yards. It's yet another hole where that blue ocean catches your eye in the distance beyond. This hole, fairly straightforward, but big hitters should take note of that hot bunker that sits about 30 yards short of the green. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend, and that, another good drive here. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap-in is now going to be a grind. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And she's going to hold on at 5-under. The 11th here at Bandon Dunes at 452 yards apart for the putt bunker left of the fairway is the main concern on the tee shot. From there, an uphill second takes you to a green that slopes away and back toward the ocean beyond. Hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. This is about 125 yards. That might be a fat eight iron for me. That's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. 15 feet away. Oh, 
Mm, that's gonna scoot a foot or two by. So that rushed in for par here at 11. And her score is gonna stay right where it is. On to the par three 12th hole. This is the number 18 handicap hole. So maybe that gives you a little reason for optimism, but par is not a bad score here as this measures out at 238 yards, the longest of the four par threes. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Yep, played that nicely. That'll work out just fine. steps there it is a par here at 12 and her score is going to stay right where it is the rolling hills of oregon provide the backdrop to this par 5 13th hole at 553 yards it is reachable in two big dunes in the fairway could make the stance awkward for that second shot but a big green that measures better than 50 yards head to toe does yield a good number of eagle putts Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Got every bit of that pool all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five.
right around six feet here for birdie. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. And she moves to six under par. On to a tough one now, the par 4 14th listed at 390 yards. Pod bunkers are the worry here. There are five of them to contend with all told, and none are easy outs. The green is an arrow one as well, with a good amount of tilt from back to front. That got a fortunate bounce. Oh, it'll be just fine. Great opportunity here for Birdie. Another rolled in there. Birdie's now at 13 and 14. And she'll get it to seven under. On now to the final par three on the course, the 15th, listed at 206 yards. Don't be lulled to sleep by the sound of crashing waves and seagulls. This hole can bite you, especially if you don't avoid that front right bunker, the deepest on the course. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th, and she'll remain at 7-under. Maybe the prettiest hole on the golf course, this par 4 16. A plethora of options off the tee. Most end up deciding to see just how close to the green they can get it. Beware, though, of the ever-present Bend and Dunes pot bunkers, as well as some pretty thick gorse off to the right.
Okay, not a bad lead. That's a good shot. This from about 10 feet. That is down for a birdie here at 16. And with it, she's got it now to eight under par. Feast or famine here on this par 417th at 405 yards. There are no good misses off the tee. Left has pot bunkers and thick gorse. Right with a long bunker and the side of a canyon to contend with. Best to just put one right down the middle, but that's, uh, that's easy for me to say. Too much roll on the back end there, and this is going to wind up diving into the heavy stuff. I really like her goal swing, and that's another good shot. She should be happy with that one. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at birdie. Ever so slightly right to left. I'm not sure you can give the hole away here. Good playing here toward the end of the round. Birdie's at 16 and 17, and she'll move to nine under par. On to the home hole to wrap up the round here at Bandon Dunes. And after battling to get here, isn't it nice to have a birdie hole to take you to the clubhouse? That's what we have with this 558 yard par five. Simply avoid the bunkers off the tee, and you should have a good chance to reach this green in two. Frank, you surprised that one came out as well as it did? Certainly, Rich. Uh, this hole at one stage looked very problematic, but now, you know, back in the fairway, you never know.
Chance now for another birdie. You betcha, birdies at 16, 17, and 18 to wrap things up. So after a wonderful Thursday and Friday of golf, our featured player is only a shot Thank you. 